Hello everybody and welcome back to part 2 of reviewing the Curse of Dreadbear Final Fantasy Freddy's action figures. In the last video I reviewed the plushies and today we're going to review the action figures. So first up we're going to review Jack O'Bonny. So for Jack O'Bonny we're going to review him but first let's take a look at the packaging. So the packaging is really amazing. I really love this packaging. It has his name right there, Jack O'Bonny along with some jack-o'-lanterns. The background is so amazing, like, full of grass, um, cemeteries, pumpkins, all that. I really love the packaging. And on the top, it says Curse of Dreadbear, Five Nights at Freddy's Funko. So, um, this action figure is really amazing. Let's take him out. So, here we have Jekyll Bonnie at the packaging. So, overall, pretty good figure. Um, The only things that... Uh, Funko removed from him was his nose and his eyes since in the game Jack O'Bonny does not have any eyes There's just like glow and the really weird thing that Funko did that they give him a translucent body Um, I don't know why did they give him that since with Jack Chica they didn't get they didn't give her a translucent body Her entire body was orange and glow in the dark effect. I don't know why they give Jack O'Bonny this It would have been cooler if he had that, that body because that would have been really cool um, so everything is the same from Jacko, um, from Nightmare Bonnie, just like new colors, like orange, um, yeah, all that. So I give this figure like a 8.1 out of 10 because it could have been done better, but let's just give it to that. All right, so next up, we're going to review Dreadbear. So overall, Dreadbear is kind of like the coolest figure. So let's review him. Let's take him out of the packaging. All right. So here we have Dreadbear. Overall, I guess, um, I agree. This figure is, I give this a 10 out of 10 because it looks just like Dreadbear from the game. Like, everything is definitely, like, nothing is missing. Like, his head is the same as the game. His body is so sculpted and amazing. I really love this figure. So I give this figure a 10 out of 10. His hands are really amazing. And on the back, it shows all the damage behind him. And, um, and it looks so amazing. I love the stitching on him. They also got like, this little bolt on the side. Because it's it's really amazing. Like, I really love this figure. His eyes are, like, kind of weird. It would have been cool if if, if, it, if, he, if they gave him, like, lines, like, around the line. Because that would have been really cool. So, yeah. So, there is Dreadbear. And now we're going to review... Glitch trap. So this is the first time they made glitch trap into a figure because they never made him into a plushie or Mc or like in the McFarlane line. So this is the first time they made him into an action figure. So let's review him. All right. So here we have glitch trap. So I gotta say this figure is amazing. His face is like kind of the same as the one in the game, but his body is really cool. He does have little stars if you can see. If you can see that, um, the red outline, the red like outlines in the vest. He does have a little tail, pretty cute. His feet are kind of, I think they reused Vanny's body because um, he does have the joints just like Vanny. It would have been cool if this was like painted yellow because um, Glitch Trap is a human. He does not have joints in the, he does not like have animatronic parts in the, in the game because he's a human. Same for Vanny, but I don't know why they gave him joints. Even his ears are like perfectly correct in the game and I really love it. So his hands are really amazing. I really like the hands, they're like really cool. So, there we have Glitch Trap, and now we're going to review Gurren Foxy. So, I got I to gotta talk a lot about this guy, because he's pretty not that good, so we're going to unbox him. So, here we have Grim Foxy. So, Grim Foxy, I got a lot to say about you, man. So, first off, the hook is a pretty good thing for me. It could have been, been a little bit bigger, since the game is like really huge. Same for the plushie as well. The hand is a new uh, mold, not like the same one that Nightmare Foxy had. Um, it's a pretty new mold, and again, I don't know why they use the same body for Jack O'Bonny. They both have the same translucent, like the head and the body and the torso have the same mold. I don't know why they gave it for Grim Foxy, and also he has pants, and I don't know why they didn't give him pants because in the game he has brown pants like Foxy does, and for this figure they just gave him like the red leg part for it. His face is overall really weird to me. I mean, the ears are, like, kind of fine to me, but the head is, like, translucent, and it's pretty weird. I, I can't, like, it's really weird, and, but the bot, but the mouth, like, the jaw is good, and the mouth is good, but it would have been cool if there was, like, black or gray inside of the mouth for the teeth because it's just orange, and it looks kind of weird to me. The eye is, 
kind of weird. I didn't know why they didn't give him like something in there, like a glow effect in there or something. Um, so yeah, so there we have Grim Foxy. And now last but not least, we're gonna review the exclusive Captain Foxy. So let's review him. All right, so here we have Captain Foxy, and he's a Walmart exclusive to this wave. So I gotta say this, I I, I think I give this figure a ten out of ten as well, along with Dread Bear because. This figure is kind of is exactly have everything from the game. Like the fat, the vest is really cool. Um, I think his vest is darker in the game, so I they shouldn't give him like a darker vest, like dark blue or something. The hand is not is not removable. You cannot move it. Only you move it a little bit like to the side, but you cannot take it off or anything. He does have the little shoulder pad that sticks on, does not come come off. The legs you can take them off, but the whole vest thing is not removable. The hook is. Also, never removable either. So, so now we're gonna re review the face. So the face is kind of the same from the re-release Foxy, like back in 2020. His head was kind of the same. His body was kind of the same as the VR Foxy from the game. Um, the thing I like about it is this color. Like the colors are like, really light. I really love it. I really love the hat on this. It does have like a little white feather up there. Really good. The logo for it, the logo for it's really amazing. So I give this figure a 10 out of 10. So I like it. Alright guys, so that was my video of the Curse of Dreadbear action figures. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like this video. See you next time. Goodbye.